Okay, so moving on to actual tourism. Uh, the fact that we do have so many manta rays here and uh, they have not been hunted or fished, uh, there is no commercial fishery in the Maldives, certainly, uh, that over the years, because tourism is so important in the Maldives, inevitably diving with mantas and snorkeling with mantas has become an economically important uh, activity and uh, brings a lot of money into, uh, into the Maldives. We, I was involved in the study from Dr. Anderson uh, when we calculated the likely income direct from the spend of tourists into Manta tourism. And this was estimated on $70 for a dive and about $20 for a, a snorkel. Um, I would like you to appreciate that some resorts charge $150 and even two or $3,000 for a private dive. Okay, so there are people who are very willing to pay large amounts of money to dive with Manta rays. And we estimated that maybe $8 million worth of, of income was coming directly to um, the Maldives to pay for diving or snorkeling. And this was uh, based on figures from 2007. That doesn't include all the additionals. And this is, if somebody comes to the Maldives because they've seen an advert that they can come and dive with mantas, they pay their airfare. Well, fair enough, that goes to the airline, not to the Maldives. But certainly the, the cost of the resort, um, that they will be buying food, and beverages while they're on the resort. They may do some other excursions. They'll certainly do some other diving. So actually, that eight million of direct uh, revenue is more like you know, 100 or 200 millions worth of tourism. The, the, the point is, mantas are very important to tourism in the Maldives. And it's not just the people who come to dive with mantas. It's also people that see the, see the adverts, see the beautiful videos and so forth of mantas and a pristine environment. Uh, and they think, I want to come to the Maldives because it's somewhere special. Um, I'd just like to point out that the presently, uh, the value of from diving is about 40 times that from snorkeling. So although the resorts do a lot of snorkeling, there is actually a very big business amongst liverboards and diving centres on resorts where um, people are going to see mantas. So it's, it's, it's primarily diving that I'm going to be talking about today because presently that is where the, the majority of the income comes from. And the second thing is that uh, most snorkeling is conducted in shallow water and is usually at areas where mantas are feeding. The famous site is, is Hanifaru, but there are many other sites, uh, for instance, Garaidu in South uh, Mali, which are very regular sites you can snorkel. Um, but the majority of sites are cleaning stations. So I'm going to be talking a little bit about cleaning stations. And uh, just to get you warmed up, I'm going to show a very short video of you know, what I'm talking about. What do the people that come to dive in the Maldives want to see? OK, so this is a manta ray at a cleaning station. Uh, this is what people want to see. They want to be able to come as close as the videographer here is to a manta ray. A manta ray is approximately four meters in disc width. That's from tip to tip. So this is a large animal. And you know, a little bit like people go to Africa to want to see lions and giraffes and, and so forth, or um, you know, to see elephants in Sri Lanka, etc. People come to the Maldives to see manta rays. And when they visit cleaning stations, um, the, the mantas swim very slowly. They find an area, can you see these little tiny fish all over the manta ray? These are cleaner fish. And because the cleaner fish are in one particular part of the reef, the mantas just swim around on top of the cleaning station and therefore the mantas stay in one place. And as long as the divers behave very well, stay quietly and away from the cleaning station, uh, the mantas will continue to clean. You can see the divers in the background just kneeling on the bottom very quietly. Um, you can have a lovely manta show whilst watching, well, you know, not having to do very much. And I said, typically, um, a, a diver will want to go and visit mantas at least once um, during their trip to the Maldives, and many divers will want to go two or three times. And so that, you know, $70 per dive suddenly becomes $200. So I said, this is a real draw for tourists in the Maldives. Right, so I'm just going to talk about where we have mantas and where we have tourism. And the principal atolls at the moment, which are highly developed, are uh, Mali and uh, Ari atolls, north and south Ari atoll. So just, I'm going to give you an overview of where the mantas are and where the people are, uh, as in the tourists are. So in, in north Mali atoll, um, the, the red spots are sites that which we can visit in the uh, southwest monsoon and the blue spots are sites for manta sites that we can visit 
in the northeast monsoon. And as you can see, there's a lot of sites along the uh, east side, but only um, the Bodahiti area um, on the west side of uh, North Mali Atoll. The uh, resort islands are actually distributed throughout the atoll, um, probably a slight majority in the south side of the, uh, the southern area of, of North Mali Atoll. Um, and I would like to point out that at Paradise Island, which is uh, also known as Lankan Finola, that's its local name, um, this, this site, the site called Lankan, is a very, very famous manta point. Um, it's written about in books and magazines and so forth. It's amongst divers, it is internationally famous, okay? Um, slight problem, the last couple of years, it hasn't really been working as a cleaning station. And this is a major concern to all the resorts in North Mali Atoll and a lot of the liverboards which operate in this atoll because their main uh, cleaning station, the main place to visit, is not as good as it used to be. In fact, we hardly see mantas there. And we're not really sure. And I'm going to re uh, review some of the information we have about this site later on in the presentation. Moving on to... Um, North Arri, this is quite interesting. You, see, you can see there are no red dots. Um, North Arri is pretty much a northeast monsoon diving area. So there are sites at Thoddu and um, Razdu and all the way down the west side of the atoll where it's possible to see manta rays. But in the southwest monsoon, not really. Um, there are resorts spread throughout the atoll quite evenly. In South Ariato, we have a similar situation in that we have a lot of sites which are good for, for, to observe mantas at this time of year, but again, very few sites on the eastern side. Um, and these are quite unreliable. And, and to be honest, Digara is, is more of a, a snorkeling site. They're in the shallows rather than a cleaning station. Um, most of the tourist resorts are in the south of the atoll. The, again, we have the, the site in North Ari Atoll, which is uh, known as Don Carlo, um, which is near Malos Island, and this, again, was a very famous uh, site, which was very active for many years, um, right the way through to and about, again, about 2011, actually. Um, and in the last couple of years, there have been very, very few mantas sighted there. And again, we don't really understand why. So, a slight up-to-date where we are now. Um, last year, there were about a million visitors to the Maldives, um, and based on the surveys from the late 2000s, 15% uh, of visitors to the Maldives indicate that they want to dive um, or want to learn to dive. And if a, a diver, as I was saying, makes at least one or two dives um, a year, well, a lot of people come here to dive on every, you know, every single day, two or three dives a, year, uh, a day. So we're looking at you know, two and a half million dives um, including the dive guides, the instructors, etc., being made in the Maldives every year. That's a lot of diving. So this, this country, you know, especially the, the central atolls, which are most developed and where the majority of this diving occurs, there is a lot of diving actually occurring. And as I've said already, you know, people come to the Maldives, they want to dive with mantas, and they also want to dive with sharks. And protection of sharks and mantas is something which the Maldives has been doing for several years now. Um, but there's other things which we need to consider to really protect the areas where people can go diving.